What is happening guys, it is Sunday and we are at the Hack and Pack Shop. Figured to do a quick little video on you uh, for some fluid film. I know a lot of you guys have heard of this stuff, okay? Um, actually, one of uh, the YouTube subscribers, he actually recommended this to me, Corvair Wild. Um, and I used it on something of his a few years ago and I've kind of gotten... I like it. It's good shit. So we're gonna do a little video for you. I know a couple of you asked about the sheriff's car. Got a little inker on the side of it. Deer hit, fender, hood, door door. Yeah. All right, this is how you use this stuff. Doing a live YouTube video. What's up, Matt? What's up, Patty? give me dirty looks like what the hell are you doing that for all right so this is what we got this is what you do with this stuff okay I don't really don't use it on frames or anything see these holes inside of your doors let her eat let that stuff run right out and it will I'm gonna get right up in these holes that one's kind of plugged. All on the seams. What's happening? Do it on the hinges. And this stuff is paint friendly too. Alright, you guys have a good one. What's that? Sweet, thank you. Right up these seams. Like I said, this doesn't hurt the paint. This is brand new paint on this truck. It's like three days old. It's like a lanolin oil based product. It stinks. Nasty smell. Get right up in there. These Fords don't have a lot of drain holes on them. You'd think they'd have one here in the center, but they don't. I usually just shoot it right up in there and let it do its thing. And I also did a lower fender repairs in this truck too. So I'm going to get up in there the best I can. Just let that stuff ooze right out. The stuff's roughly ten ish dollars a can. <clears throat> I think it's worth its weight in gold myself. Messy. Right up in here behind this fender liner. Kind of hard doing this one handed. I'll finish, have to finish this up off the camera. Then, right in these little plastic moldings, too. Just let it go right down in there. Not going to hurt nothing. <clears throat> I've already undercoated the frame and all the. Uh, the inner body where I did all of my repairs. Mm -hmm. I'll do off camera, I'll pull these out a little bit just so I could use two hands and spray this down and just let it kind of ooze right out of all of that. I'm just giving you guys a rough idea of actually 
how to use this and what you want to use it for. He's actually on his way here to come get it, I think, shortly. <clears throat> it tells you guys how bad the truck was before I started on it. There's the rusty panels in the back. That's everything I cut out of it. Wheel wells, lower panels of the box. Right there's the bottom of one of the fenders. It's the bottom of the other fender. I saved the stuff for him. I'm a nice guy like that. I didn't do any repair on a tailgate on the inside. I just kind of gave him a freebie and did the outside. But we'll spray a little bit down in here. What I usually do is just let the stuff all run out and then just take a rag and kind of wipe it all off. I'm going to get down inside of those drain holes pretty good. These cans are made to spray upright, not at a weird funky angle like I'm trying to do. But every little bit helps. Go right up that seam. That's it, the stuff oozes inside of these seams really nice. And we'll just let it drip out, just like it's doing, all over my nice clean job here. How long does it last? I'm told it's six months to a year. So it's something you kind of want to do frequently. I'd say do it twice a year. And I guess really the only thing that cuts this, um, from what I know, is like hot water. Like really hot, steamy water will uh, actually make this stuff dissolve. I actually sprayed some on my own Ford truck, the Pooper Duty. I did some body work on it last year. And uh, I sprayed this on, on the insides of all the doors and... It still looks pretty good. I mean, it's starting to come back a little teeny bit, but it was one of those deals where, you know, it's my truck. I'm not spending a ton of time on it. I'm not making money working on my own cars. So I do most of my own cars half-ass. So there you are. Poop for duty. Son of a bitch. Happy Sunday. I don't know if there's anything else here you guys want to see. You know about the sheriff's car at a deer. I've done several. It's like my fourth or fifth one, I think. That I've done for the sheriff's office. So there you are. Hope this was a little bit helpful for y'all. Got a camper out here. A little weird uh, damage on that in front of that. Oh, what a mess! Total freaking mess there. So some bit Sequoia's still running good. I haven't even driven it in like a month. I actually loaned it to one of our helpers. He's been driving the shit out of it. So, yeah, I got a Tahoe out there, too. Got a bunch of shit out here. Shit everywhere. I'm a junk collector. GTO, I haven't done anything with it um, pretty much since the last video. I really haven't hardly touched the car uh, since the last video I did on this car. So, maybe we can get back to that and do some how-to videos on this one, too. So, All right, guys, there you are. I'm out. Y'all have a goody-goody. I gotta get this mess cleaned up before he gets here. And uh, yeah, we'll talk to you soon. Off. Off with his balls.